What's up everyone, it's your boy Nornrad89 here doing a little impromptu video today. Today I'm going to be talking about some new projects that are going to be coming, not to cinemas because all the theaters are closed down and everything right now, but some new projects that are going to be coming in terms of movies that I'm really excited about in the future. So I wanted to talk about it, chat about them, some spoilers ahead and everything, not too too much, but hopefully you guys know about some of these films coming out. If not, stick around so I can drop some news for you so you can get some cool info. Let's hit it. Roll it. So probably the biggest news we had in the past few months for me, it came out in October. They kind of dropped the whole trailer and everything, the teaser trailer and everything for it. Well, actually, it was a full-length trailer, but the Batman film that we were getting directed by Matt Reeves, starring Robert Pattinson and Zoe Kravitz. It's definitely going to be a movie that I'm excited for. I'm a huge Batman fan, as you can see. I got my Batman pop hero right here. So I'm a huge Batman fan, and I'm just really excited for this film because I think it has a lot of potential to be one of the best stories that we've heard told for a Batman movie like him in a movie because the Christopher Nolan trilogy was very fabulous. We Everybody really liked that, diving down into a more grounded, more deep and gritty, realistic type Batman story. And I think this is going to be kind of in that realm of a balance of kind of an unrealistic kind of Gotham world, but still realistic and grounded. And I'm excited to see what Matt Reeves is going to give us for sure. This film is slated to come out in March 4th, 2022. They pushed it back because they had some problems with COVID cases and everything and having to shut down production a couple times. So it's definitely gotten pushed back. We were supposed to get it in October of 2021, but now we're not going to get it until 2022. So still, I'm looking forward to it. I'm excited. If you haven't seen the trailer already for it, I definitely recommend going out to see the trailer because it has that great setup and feel for it. You can really get the vibe that Matt Reeves is going for through the trailer for this film, so I'm excited for it. That's probably my number one excitement for sure. Now on to number two, and that's going to be <laughs> the Kong, Godzilla vs. Kong, the monster film. Like I'm definitely excited about this one. It's directed by, let me see if I can look that up real quick, Adam Wingard. So he's definitely a new new director and everything in terms of, you know, he's not done anything big. I think he did the Death Note movie that's on Netflix. He did other couple small-time projects, horror. He's more of a horror-style person, but it's kind of cool to bring him into the monster world because it still is like horror monster status, Godzilla and Kong, but this is going to be the epic battle with like all the new graphics and all the new CGI that we got going on now. And I really liked the new Godzilla film and Godzilla King of Monsters. Kong Skull Island was okay. I was, I, I liked it, but it wasn't, I wasn't as big a fan. Like I said, I'm definitely more of a Godzilla fan for sure. So Godzilla is the one that hits hard for me. As you can tell, I'm on that side for the upcoming movie, but I'm still really excited for it because it's going to connect the monster universe. Since Marvel did all their thing with their cinematic universe and connecting all their heroes, a lot of people, DC and like the monster universe in the cinema world, they're really trying to connect and bring all of them together so we can get a lot of our favorite characters and iconic monsters all together in the same movies. So I'm really excited for it. Hope you guys are too. Godzilla vs. Kong is slated to come out, I believe. Let's look this up real quick. Kong versus Godzilla. Yeah, May. It looks like right now it's May 21st, 2021. So hopefully we can get it by then. Probably be on streaming services, maybe like HBO Max, because they got Warner Brothers got a deal now where they're sending all their movies to HBO Max to stream and stuff. So looks like the cinema thing is going to be kind of a thing of the past, which kind of sucks. It might be like, like Blockbuster. Like how we explain to our kids or like our kids explain to their other kids, like when we used to go to theaters and have to pay overpriced snacks and everything, it's kind of going to be a story or a thing of the past, which really sucks. But, you know, the streaming service thing is really taking over for movies, TV shows and all that kind of stuff. So I think that's the path we're heading for sure. 
Starting it with my number three project, another exciting one that's coming is going to be the Matrix 4 film. And that is definitely going to be exciting because we've got to bring Keanu Reeves back and like we having Trinity. Trinity is also going to return if you guys haven't heard. So we're going to get Trinity and Neo back as characters. I know they died at the end of the last one, Matrix Revolutions, but... They had a new story that the Wachowskis just did and brought to life, and they said they were really excited about it, so Keanu Reeves, and um, they all just jumped on. We haven't heard about Lawrence Fishburne yet, if there's going to be Morpheus in it, or if it's going to be like a young Morpheus story. There's a lot of rumors and a lot of things going on, but Lawrence Fishburne isn't signed on yet for this movie. But this is one that I'm definitely excited for, too, because Matrix, the Matrix trilogy is like really great. It's such a great trilogy because it was way ahead of its time and they decided to do so many things and it came out so good it's probably on my top list of like films I wish I could forget so I could re-watch it for the first time again like that, that's the what the matrix is like if you can forget it and then watch it again for the first time and get dive into the world again and get pulled down the rabbit hole with Neo like it's really great these movies and everything so for me, Matrix 4 is definitely up there top notch as like upcoming projects that I'm dying to see and I'm eager to see it. And I think that one also comes out in 2021 or it's slated to, I believe. Let's see, because I got that one written down. December 22nd, 2021. We're waiting for that one. So I've seen some of the screenshots and we've seen Neo and Trinity together. So we know they're coming back for sure. So it's just really exciting. They had to shut down production, too, because of all the COVID cases and things happening. So there's just a lot of things going on around the world right now, which sucks because it's kind of slowing down some movies. But I'm still really excited for all three of these films. I hope all of you are, too. Like I said, The Batman, Godzilla vs. Kong, Matrix 4. Those are probably my most eager, most exciting projects that I'm waiting to see for sure. No Time to Die is another good honorable mention for 007, but they've already filmed that movie and it's done we're just waiting to see how it's going to get released because they wanted to do it in theaters. The director really wanted it to be put in theaters, but it's with everything going on right now, it's most likely going to be put on a streaming service. So I'm waiting to see that because I'm a huge Bond fan. So No Time to Die going to be Daniel Craig's last Bond film. I'm excited for that one too. So thanks for hanging out with me, guys. Wanted to drop this news, talk about some of these movies and upcoming projects that I'm really excited for. So Thanks for hanging out with me. Consider dropping a like, hitting that subscribe button, and leave your comments down below so I can know what kind of projects you are looking forward to. I would love to hear from all of you. Have a safe and happy holiday. Peace out.